We both deeply believe in, in gospel doctrine and in what we're calling gospel culture. Uh, why we believe in gospel doctrine is, is more obvious. We know that God has, has spoken to us. He's revealed to us what he's like. He has given us truth uh, in Jesus Christ, written down for us in the scriptures. And we, we cannot afford to deviate from that. The moment we, we lose our doctrinal carefulness, we lose our ability to be faithful to the Lord. There are those who would say, it doesn't really matter what we believe as long as we love each other. So let's have the gospel culture without the gospel doctrine. But that is a belief, and it is not an, a biblical apostolic Jesus-given belief, and it doesn't sustain love. We know from Galatians 2, 11 through 21, for example, that faithfulness to the gospel includes both the doctrine of justification by faith alone, we'll never cave on that, and the beauty of human relationships that that very doctrine was given to us to create. So faithfulness to the gospel includes both doctrinal faithfulness and relational beauty. Because we, we recognize that actually the, the truth that we find in scripture is designed to create a new human dynamic, yes. a different kind of community. It's not intended to hang in midair as a mere abstraction. The gospel creates a new community that this world never could create on its own.